Hello and welcome. My name is Matthew Sweet and I'd like to talk to you today about my hobby of raising backyard chickens. This hobby is something that's been passed down in my family from one generation to another. Uh, my mom was actually the one who introduced me to raising backyard chickens. I have a wife and two kids who actually participate in raising our chickens. My daughter Denise is exceptionally happy to help me when it's time for our chicken chores. My son's not much of a chicken person, but my daughter is, and we like to call her the chicken wrangler. She's been around chickens her whole life, and she absolutely loves them. We get up in the morning around 6 a.m. to get ready for school and go to let our chickens out for the day. We feed them, uh, make sure they have water, and check for eggs every morning and evening. Make sure that our chickens are safe and have no parasites or mites in their feathers or their skin to make sure that they are healthy. Uh, chicken feed is something that takes time and patience to find out exactly what your chickens will like. We use a scratch grain that's mixed with layer pellets. This allows our chickens to use their natural ground scratching instincts to move around their food and pellets and give them more vitamins and minerals they won't receive from the grains. Uh, we like to put them up in their coop at night to protect them from predators such as snakes, raccoons, possums, and rats because we have fairly large rats here that will get into our eggs and our baby chickens. Uh, we have our chickens set up in a dog pen that we transformed into a chicken pen using a tarp to cover from direct sunlight to make sure they don't become overheated during the day. Now the purple coop that you see in the picture is an old coop that belonged to my grandparents that my mother painted and glittered for my daughter as a surprise birthday present for her this past year. The brown shed on the other side is my mom's chicken coop. She's got a larger flock so she needs uh, the more space. The size of your coop actually depends on the amount of chickens that you have. Now, the inside of your coop needs to have certain items if you want your chickens to be comfortable and happy. Uh, for our coop, we use a chicken wire floor that allows the manure to pass through, which we can clean up later. There are several options for bedding, such as sand, paper, straw, wood shavings, mulch, and grass clippings. Um, another important item is the roosting area. If your chickens don't have a place to roost off the ground, they won't feel safe, and this can lead to decreased egg production, restlessness, and even death if predators get in there. So a roosting bar, a shelf, or boxes is necessary for healthy and safe chickens. Laying boxes can allow chickens to either be off the ground or on the ground, but it gives them a safe spot to lay their eggs. Hens still lay even if there's no roosters around. They have a brooding nature, uh, which makes them a little cranky when they lay, so we like to do our collecting when they are not at the nest. It's easier to do so before they return. We receive our chickens through online ordering and from my mom and my grandparents' flocks. We currently have uh, one bantam hen and three silkies as our pen's not very large. Uh, our larger hen keeps our baby silkies safe while they're in the pen and uh, as the young babies get bigger they'll start laying eggs as well. Uh, most people like to view chickens as a source of eggs or a source of meat but we like to see them as our pets. We take care of them, and in return, they give us eggs and fill our days with laughs. The happier and more comfortable your chickens are, the more egg production you will receive. Um, another great item for the health and well-being of your chickens, uh, especially in the wintertime, is a boredom buster. If the chickens become bored, their laying decreases, and they're overall they're kind of sluggish and unhappy. But a great example of a boredom buster is a lettuce, a cabbage, or broccoli heads attached to a rope that's hung up in their coop. Something as simple as this can make all the difference in a chicken's health. When we're raising our chickens, it's best to get them as babies to incorporate into the flock uh, with as little fighting as possible. When they're babies, uh, they're very curious about their surroundings. It's important that we hand train them so that they're used to being around people. Uh, they tend to be more photogenic and more fun to observe at this age. Each chicken has its own personality and they can be quite fun to play with. Uh, as you can see here, there's many types of chickens that can be raised. Different types of chickens mean different sizes, colors, of uh, hens, roosters, and eggs. You can see my mom's flock on the side and includes several types of chickens all living together as one flock. Now, as your flock continues to grow, you can incorporate other animals in with them. Currently, my mom's flock has guineas, ducks, chickens, and two turkeys. My grandparents' flock has geese, chickens, and ducks all together. Chickens will hang out with pretty much any other bird. And they're not, they may include, but not limited to, geese, ducks, guinea fowl, and turkeys. 
what I found is that chickens can sometimes be mean. Um, by that I mean the roosters because they're territorial. Most of the times chickens are just super curious and if you hand raise them, they just want your attention. They like to strut around and show off their stuff, but they're never strangers when you have treats. Um, overall, one of the best things that I've found is that when your chickens are being raised, it's best to give them a lot of greens. Um, kitchen scraps, for example, is a really good incorporation into their diet. Um, they're not allowed to have lemons, so that uh, there's a chemical in lemons that is very dangerous to them. It can cause uh, cardiac arrest, and overall it's just unhealthy for your chickens. Um, one thing I've really found is that the hand training really helps whenever your chickens get larger they want to come around people they want to be with you uh, you can pretty much go in the pen and stand in there with them and they'll come running to you uh, overall starting a chicken flock can be kind of tedious and challenging but once you've got the inner workings of it down it's actually quite a lot of fun um, I found that our chickens have brought us a lot of joy and have given my family a really cool and great activity to bond together with. Uh, I strongly recommend if you have the time and the backyard availability, start raising chickens of your own, um, even one or two. I really appreciate your time and I really hope that you have a great day. Thank you.